We are just knocking stuff out in the shop. Yesterday was the GTR. Today we have some really exciting Type R stuff. Now, as you guys are watching this, Tiana and I are kind of like on our like summer vacation, but here in the shop, past tense, Dut, wanted to knock a lot of things out so that when we get back home to the shop, we can knock out our bigger projects, which I'm really excited to show you guys. For today, we have some super exciting stuff, not only for the FL5, but also the FK right back there. Now, unfortunately this summer, we have a crazy busy travel schedule, which means we haven't really been able to hit as many track days as I would like. But that doesn't mean that we're still not prepping and preparing for our upcoming season and the fall. Now we have a ton of races coming up starting in September. So until then, it is crunch time. Today, we have a very special package from Radium, which I'll be showing you guys, but we're not only thinking about the FL5, we're really thinking about the FK8 back here as well. We've kind of had an unlucky streak with the FK8 and, and I myself really want to practice and put in the preparation for our upcoming season. And so not only am I preparing as a driver, but we also have a ton of stuff that we wanna do to the FK8. You guys will see that coming up soon, but a lot of things like radiator, brakes, uh, we need a new front bumper, a new aero for the front. I mean, just a ton of stuff. But before we can get into that, I wanna show you guys what we're doing kind of accessory wise. So we have a special care package from our friends over at Radium. So if we open this thing up, we not only, like I keep saying, have stuff for the FL5, but all of this stuff corresponds over to the FK8 as well. So what you see going on the FL5 today is what Tim is gonna be installing while we're actually out of town on the FK8. But it's really cool because Radium just made this stuff for the FL5. So any of my FL5 guys watching this video right now, all of this stuff will also fit your cars as well. Or if you're an FK8 guy, they make the same stuff for that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. This is coolant tank and then dual catch can. All right, so, and then of course we also have FK stuff. But Here, as you guys saw, we have a dual catch can kit as well as a coolant overflow tank kit as well. This is all gonna be really nice, not only in the FL5, but also super beneficial for the race car. The benefits of the dual catch can kit, as you guys know, all of the modern cars really have blow by now, and this is gonna help reduce that and catch all of the oil particles so that it doesn't go into your intake or your charge piping. And then we of course also have a coolant tank kit, which this is one piece that just connects. We'll show you guys building it in just a second. This will be really nice to help reduce the heat emitted by our plastic coolant overflow tank as well as keep the heat in and be more durable than the plastic that's OEM which I'll show you guys in just a bit. This overall gonna last a very long time and not fail as quickly as say the plastic one would. So overall this is just a massive upgrade for both of the Type R's and I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and hop in the car and show you guys what the OEM stuff looks like. Basic, not very exciting engine bay but what we're about to have Tim is a very exciting engine bay. It's gonna be awesome. That was like the corniest thing you've ever done. <laughs> so first of all, we have our OEM coolant tank right here, which like I said, old and plastic. Not that it's bad, but just radium is just gonna be overall so much better. And then we'll also have an oil catch cam, which currently doesn't come on the car. And since it's dual, we're gonna have one that sits right in this vicinity right here, as well as another tank that sits right back here. Yeah, we'll uh, start with the Coolant, coolant overflow tank first. Do we have first. to drain the coolant? No, we can probably take that out and try not to spill anything. Nice. <laughs> and of course, if you guys want any of this for your own car, whether it's a Type R or whatever you drive, Radium makes, I would say they make the best fuel and you know emission stuff for your cars. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to them down in the description box below. As well, if you guys want like a very detailed install on how to do this stuff, they include this QR code right here for you guys to get like an in-depth look. We're just gonna give you guys the overview install, but like I said, if you want the detailed stuff, check out this little QR code that they provide. But with all that being said, let's get started. First things first, we're gonna start with the coolant. It's super simple. Basically, all we have to do is remove all of the lines, get our coolant tank out, and then we can actually build the metal one for radium and put it right back in. So we're gonna start by pulling off the lines and go from there. Very little spillage there. That's yeah, good. I'm proud of myself. 
We have OEM. Oh, oh sh uh, boom, okay, OEM versus, let's check out the radium now. Whoa, this is crazy how they package that. Look at that. That is so nice. Wow, look at that. The quality on this is ridiculous. Okay, so we got that guy, this guy, this guy is going to end up something similar to this, and we'll have our coolant expansion kit. Let's all take a second to really appreciate how beautiful the billet expansion tank is. This is ridiculous, and this is why you should use radium. I mean, look at the quality of this thing. It's ridiculous, and what I really love about it too are the AN fittings. Look at this. It just swivels freely even though it's tight. You know how much of a pain in the butt just normal AN fittings are? They cleared that. This is so sick. And then we also have a easy to see reading point for the coolant overflow. Cause if you guys look right here, basically you kind of have to just look, yeah, look through this like cloudy, just gonna leave that there, nothing happened. You guys get what I'm saying. It's just overall, this is so much nicer. And come take a look at what it looks like in the actual engine bay. We put on the bracket as well right here. So this guy basically mounts just like, and it'll sit something like this once it's all mounted in. But this thing is absolutely beautiful. Again, just looks so much nicer in the actual engine bay. And especially for the race car, it's gonna make a huge difference and a lot easier for Tim and I to tell when we pop the hood where the coolant's at. Let's go ahead and get this guy mounted in. We'll put the hoses on where they need to go and we'll be good for the expansion tank. <music> I mean, is that all? That's all the lines, right? Yeah, we just gotta. Only, so, the only hose that we had to replace for the billet expansion tank is the one that goes directly to your radiator right here. And we replaced it, ran it all the way through here up to this fitting right here. Mission one complete, cool intake is done. Now we can move on to the fun stuff. We have our dual catch cans that I will go ahead and build really quickly before we start throwing them into the car. But they provide you, of course, with everything that you need, all the fittings, all the clamps, and new line, which we'll show you guys how we're gonna be routing as well. All this stuff is fairly simple, just like the coolant tank. We just gotta build it and put it in. So let's get started. Now that these are built, we can start mounting. This guy mounts to the back, and then this guy will actually mount to your motor mount. Pretty cool.
And just like that, our radium overhaul is complete. Dude. So much better. And it looks amazing. It does. And me and Tim are really going back and forth with the FK8 on how much this is really gonna benefit that car with how with how much that car is in the higher RPM. The blow by is gonna happen way faster as well as the coolant's gonna fill up and get hotter a lot faster as well in that car. But just having it in this one for you know a daily driver and a weekend track car, it'll be really beneficial as well. Not only does it have a ton of performance benefits, also it just looks super night with all the billet in here and it cleaning up the lines too it looks fantastic and they leave you room to actually put your cover back on so you can see our our two catch cans one in the rear for the intake manifold which has both your lines going to the top and to the bottom we have our front catch can going all the way to our to our valve cover and our intake Final thoughts, it looks fantastic. We went ahead and put the valve cover back on as well as our strut tower bar. Everything fits really nicely. We even have the lines tucked right here. It looks super clean. One of my favorite things is that we got rid of all like the hard line hose mess that was right here and it overall looks a lot cleaner. Radium has the best looking stuff. I... They, they really do. It's, it's, the, it's the black billet along with like the, the green accents. I don't know, it just gives it a really nice look. Once we get back from Italy, I'll be sure to update you guys on how it looks in the F and all that good stuff because we have a lot to do with that car. But for now, FL5 is complete. One last and final little little Italy trip update. We are currently in the city of Como and we are staying on Lake Como. It is absolutely one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my entire life. Me and Tiana both, it's, it's really incredible. But I just wanted to give you guys one last and final update because this is our last day here in Italy and the next video you guys get will be back home in the US starting to hopefully work on the Porsche. I'm super pumped about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Man, they're jamming out over there. It might not be the most exciting mods to do or, or to watch, but it, all of this accessory stuff really plays a big part into building cars and, and making really good cars. And this radium stuff is incredible. And I'm happy that we're able to do it now. So, like I said, perfect time to do all the accessory stuff while we're here on vacation uh, right before I leave so that we can really focus on the big stuff when we're back home and we're gonna hit the ground run. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned because I think we are gonna make an Italy vlog. I filmed throughout the entire trip my big camera is actually currently in the lake somewhere because it fell in and you'll see that in video but uh you know classic duck look anyways i'm rambling on thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you haven't already make sure to hit that like button leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe we are on the road to a million once again thank you guys and we'll see you in the next one